Okay, nine and a half inches. Okay, what we're gonna do today, I don't think there's a lot of videos out on YouTube. We're gonna check the caster setting on a Jeep Cherokee XJ. This one's an 86 XJ. We just put a three inch lift on it and we wanna make sure we set the caster properly after putting the lift on it so this thing goes down the road the way it's supposed to. All right, so the tip or angle between your lower ball joint and your upper ball joint here, again, this direction or this direction is called caster. In other words, are you tipping your axle like this, okay? And that has a lot to do with how this thing handles on the road. Now, you can't really check the angle of your caster with the tire on because you can't really see those uh, two ball joints. So we're gonna show you how you can do it. We're gonna start by measuring while the tires are on it we measured from the ground. Let me scoot over here, sorry. We measured from the ground up to this lower ball joint nut. What'd you say it was? Nine and a half? Nine and a half. Okay, we're gonna raise it up. We're gonna pull the tire off so we can see what we're doing. And then we're gonna lower the jack just enough to put that setting, to put that back at nine and a half inches here with the tire off. So we're at our right ride height when we're checking caster. We got the springs on it, so we can't pull the axle back. Uh, so what we got to do is we just hooked up here with a couple ratchet straps, and uh, basically we're just going to ratchet strap just enough. We only have to pull it about that far to slip in our uh, axle shims. We're going to put four shims in it, tighten it up, and then recheck our caster. I'm going back here to that lower link, and there's a spot back here to put these shims, right? All right. So I got, I've actually probably got enough to slip them up in there, I do. But give it one click, would you please? On the which side? Go on the passenger side. One click on the ratchet strap, please. Oh, right there. Okay. Okay, so those shims now are all the way in. We've released both ratchet straps, and I it, it actually came back this direction. So those are staying in by themselves now instead of falling out. Okay, on the back side, we got a couple bolts. So we'll go ahead and we're gonna tighten those up on both, both here, and then we're gonna recheck our caster. So that's how you put your shims in. So, the only way I know to do this is to do it right. You're gonna have to go buy a tool. I don't have any kind of creative stuff that doesn't require you to go spend some money. You gotta go get a caster gauge, okay? This tool is, is pretty simple, big magnet on it and basically allows you to check your positive or negative caster, okay? Going that way, so you essentially set your gauge level. I've just connected it to a piece of kind of flat metal, and then I'm gonna just hold it up to my ball joints and get the angle about right. I'm gonna use a little chalk line, and I'm gonna hold this chalk line right on the bottom of my ball joint, right? And that's going to tell me, gravity is going to tell me exactly where that ball joint would be if I let it come all the way to the floor. You know what I'm saying? Right there, right? So I'm going to make a little mark on my floor. This is my property value. <laughs> Back line right there. Okay. So there's my, so I made two points for the ball joint. All right. Now I'm going to take my straight edge and I'm just going to draw. I didn't get it very, I didn't get it very straight. I could tell already. I'm just going to draw a line now to my ball joint here. Oops, sorry. Just gonna draw a line. On my shop floor. Now, I've got a spot where I can actually put my line. I'm still gonna eyeball it on top because I can see the top better than I can see that bottom. Look at that. Seven and a half. This is 
is the one I used. I'm sure there's some others out there. It's the Long Acre Racing Products. Pretty basic. So it's got it's got both camber gauges, positive and negative, and also caster. And you can adjust this caster to dial it in. So you could tip this up here and level it out with those uh, with your caster bubble there, your level bubble. And if for some reason while you've got it flat, it's off, you can adjust this nut here, which will let you calibrate your caster gauge. Pretty cool. And then if you were doing something with uh, camber, you got a couple of camber gauges there as well. It's pretty neat how it works.